One of the most dangerous geological hazards in Yellowstone has nothing to do with lava and everything to do with water. Water exists in three different phases, a solid phase, a liquid phase, and a gas phase. We typically associate the different phases with temperature. For example, we put a pot of liquid water on the stove and add heat to increase its temperature until it boils. Water boils when a water molecule crosses the phase boundary and becomes steam or vapor. Crossing the phase boundary has a huge effect on a water molecule's size. A vapor molecule is about 1,600 times larger than a liquid molecule. It's a good thing the water in our pot boils off slowly. If it were somehow possible for all of the water to cross the phase boundary at once, a steam explosion would blow up our kitchen. This same concept happens on a much larger scale at active volcanoes, such as the one found in Yellowstone National Park. Hot magma stored inside the Earth acts as a giant stove and heats up water beneath the Earth's surface. The hot water rises and forms spectacular thermal features. These features include geysers, fumaroles, and hot springs. Some of the most interesting thermal features, however, are out of sight of our view, beneath Yellowstone Lake. Yellowstone Lake is more than 350 feet deep, and the pressure at the bottom of the lake is more than 10 times greater than the atmospheric pressure on land. What would happen if we suddenly reduced the pressure on the lake floor hot springs? The super hot liquids feeding the hot springs would instantly cross the phase boundary and flash to steam, causing a massive steam explosion and excavating a large crater on the lake floor. But what could cause a rapid pressure drop? Scientists have proposed a number of different triggering mechanisms. One of the strongest hypotheses involves the caldera boundary fault that runs directly beneath the lake. If this fault were to experience a major earthquake, it could cause a tsunami-type wave that rapidly pulled water off of a lake floor hot spring, depressurizing the hot water and causing an explosion. There have been more than a dozen hydrothermal explosions over the past 10,000 years. This is why hydrothermal explosions are considered to be one of the most dangerous geological hazards in Yellowstone.